Good morning, this is Giuseppe Basile. I'm Leonel Century. You can find the blog FibonaccioStalking.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the AdFibStalker nickname. Good morning, today is Wednesday, uh, April the 10th, 2013, and it's 9.30 a.m. Italian time. I'm back from uh, my Easter uh, trip. Uh, it was uh, awesome, and um, I'm now back to uh, trading and uh, full time and back to business. Um, those who follow me know that uh, uh, in the last uh, few months uh, I've been um, waiting for a participation on the long side coming from uh, uh, an area which identified by tracing uh, this um, Fibonacci study from the lows in July last year to uh, the beginning, the highs at the, the beginning of February, and uh, as we can see, the 127.15 level was never violated on the downside. This would have uh, confirmed a continued move lower for the euro dollar, but this never uh, happened, and um, would also make the case that the euro dollar failed uh, the uh, sequence of uh, measured move lower on the weekly chart by violating yesterday the 131.05 uh, level on the upside so i uh, anticipate now continued to move higher and uh, we know that uh, those who follow me know that uh, this uh, 129 10 area of support here has the potential to bring price into the 141 area. I've been repeating this for months now, and um, uh, price behavior confirmed this view. Um, so, what we can expect in the coming uh, in the coming days, we have two um, scenario. We have to uh, keep in mind on the daily chart. The one, uh, the first one, and the most probable one is that we will get a continuation higher into this 133.60 area, and after that, we might see a retrace maybe into the uh, maybe into this 130, 130.130, 131.40 area before a continuation higher into the 134.80 and then 136.60 area. Um, a second scenario, which is less probable, would be a retracement for the current level. So, however, the euro is printing new highs uh, at the moment, so uh, I do not anticipate this second scenario um, taking place. Anyway, if that happens, we could see price uh, move back into the 130. Um, uh, was 130 area and this would be a new uh, a good uh, area to get long if you're not um, in the position uh, you have to wait that we get a retracement or you have to um, you have to take a long position here maybe with a wider stop below the 128.80 uh, level uh, I hope this uh, update is um, is um, 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 is appreci appreciated. I hope you had a good uh, Easter time. Uh, I look forward to continue uh, posting these uh, views in the coming days, and I will also resume the um, newsletter. I will probably resume the newsletter only in uh, English language going forward. So thank you very much for following me and um, if you find uh, this video useful please um, tell your friends and uh, uh, you can also subscribe my newsletter going uh, to my website fibonacci.sorkin.com on the left side there is an icon you can subscribe my newsletter for free and you will get additional information trading plans setups uh, as well as articles on high frequency trading, my method, uh, but also on stocks. Uh, I follow a number of uh, highly traded, um, highly volume traded on NICE and NASDAQ US markets, as well as uh, futures and uh, uh, other uh, forex pairs. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day. Bye bye.